Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the decode based problem from Lead Code. This is a Lead Code medium and the number for this is 91. So in the given problem we are given with a string which contains letter from A to Z and uh, which can be encoded into numbers using the following pattern. So A is encoded with 1, B is encoded with 2 and similarly C will be 3, D will be 4 and Z will be 26. So we have to decode an encoded message and to decode an encoded message all the digits must be grouped back to the letters using the reversed uh, mapping as the above like you can see suppose we have an example 11106 so it how can it, how can it be decoded so it can be decoded in the following ways like we can take the first letter to be 11 second to be 10 and the third to be 6 that will form k j f okay otherwise we can also take the first letter as 1 the second letter as 1 the third letter as 10 and the fourth letter as 6 so in that case it will become a a j f so there can be multiple ways of decoding the message so we with the given string s we have to return the number of ways to decode so <clears throat> the problem can be solved using dynamic programming we can break the uh, decoding process into sub problems and build the idea so the key key idea is to define a, a dp array that represent the number of ways to decode and it will be starting from the end end of the string so let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video, share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel. So, you see, uh, one thing is definitely sure that we have to start from the end. Why? Because if you start from the beginning, you may encounter 06. And 06 is invalid because it cannot be mapped to F. Because 6 is different to, from 06. So uh, we will start from the end and uh, keep checking if the number is valid or not. So let's see. So let us first define the length. Then we'll define dp of size n plus one. And since we have to start from the end will put dp of n equal to 1 now for int i equal to n minus 1 i is greater than equal to 0 i minus minus Now if we check s dot care at i not equal to if it is not zero. So this is the validation step. So dp of i becomes dp of i plus one and if i less than n minus one and and so here we are we are checking that i is in the valid range and also the if two characters can form a letter like here one and zero can form a letter so how we'll be checking that case so we'll be writing the code for that case also so s dot care at i equal equal to one or s dot care at i equal equal to 2 and s dot care at i plus 1 should be uh, less than 7 because we have to keep it to, till 27 so that's why I'm putting it 7 
So h dot caret i should be less than equal to the character seven, and the h dot uh, caret i should be two. So if this is the case, then there are more than one ways. So dp of i plus equal to dp of i plus two, because the current can be formed as well as the previous work can also be formed. So now simply return dp of zero. Let's see if it runs. There is some error. <coughs> Let me check. So, okay, seems fine for the sample test cases. Let's run for the hidden test cases as well. So the hidden test cases also perform well. We have a good time complexity and good memory complexity. So the time complexity for this solution is O of n, and the space complexity is also O of n because we are using a DP array. And time complexity is O of n because we are traversing the string ones. So I hope you understood the logic how we are solving the problem. Do like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Also, you can check the C++ Python and JavaScript code by going to the solution panel. and uh, check this is my solution so you can see the intuition approach complexity the java python c++ javascript code and yes do remember to upvote so thank you for watching the video have a nice day